Hi, welcome to Artie Crafty Alchemy. Today I am sharing with you some cards that I have made. This first card uses the garden treasures. Now I haven't stamped any of the little flowers out and coloured them yet. I actually did not buy this stamp set from a website. I got it from a Facebook group because sometimes you can pick up some bargains. I don't have the guide for this one. I have downloaded it off the Alta New website. I need to print it out when I get a new printer. I still don't have a new printer. That one does need a sentiment, I think. I'm not sure if I even want to put a sentiment on the front of it. I'm thinking I might just put one in the center. Now, as you can see here, this one has a background. This one is not stuck down. It's a work in progress. I'm not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> And then I have these two spare that I haven't used yet, but as you can see, I have all these flowers. I just needed to get a couple of hours sleep before I went to the cottage today. This one again is another set that I used, a stamp set that I got off a Facebook sale group. I think I was very lucky and I got this set for $17, including the dies. So I was chuffed with that. I do have another one that I got. And I don't know if this one has dies, but I'm going to have to try and see if I can find them because I really want dies for that one. And that's the Get Well game. But this is Modern Anemones. And I've been taking some already stamped images to bingo when I go with my mum and my cousin. And I have been colouring them in while I'm there. These ones as well. My next card it has Today I Celebrate You. And that is a Kaiser Craft stamp. Wishing You a Fabulous Day is from the same stamp set. It is called Background Birthday Sentiments. And this one has the W plus 9. This flower, which is really a pain. <laughs> this is the Builder Flower Rose Dye. I managed to get some ink on there. And I got this in a bundle off Blitzy for 33 Australian dollars, I think. And... They sell for a lot more here, so I snapped that up when they were having some of their sales. Along with this set, which I haven't used on a card yet, I need to stamp some leaves, but I haven't done that yet. And then it has the background, which I think is a Mr. Huey's, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I just grabbed a whole ton of stencils. This is the Simply Celebrate stamp set that I've used. And I've got two thank you so much, two so happy for you and two happy birthdays. On this one and this one, I've used the Nouveau Midas Touch Shimmer Pen. Then this was from a live I did quite a while ago, because I don't have lives at the moment, so <laughs> it would be a while ago. And this is a Ken Oliver stamp. And then the Thinking of You has come from, I know it is around me somewhere, but no idea where right now. It is a magazine stamp set and I grabbed the thinking of you from it and added it on there. I just liked the script with the regular word there. Then I have two more Build a Rose cards. Again I've done some subtle backgrounds. This one challenges me because it is so bare like these are very bare but I meant for them to be like that but this one is pretty bare as well so it sort of head says it needs more it needs more and I'm like no leave it alone. <laughs> and then the same with this one, a little bit blank at the bottom, but I have this thing about trying to fill up most of the space and I'm trying to get better with that. Same with clustering flowers. This took me far longer than it needed to. And for the wishes on these, I used this Crafty Potential set. So you have the stamp and you have the die and you have the outline die, which is here. And the birthday I used Again is another set I got off Buy and Sell Group. I have the little birthday from the year two Lawn Fawn set. This one I used the Played Played stencil and I turned it around every which way and I used Twisted Citron, Cracked Pistachio and Chipped Sapphire and I just switched it around and blended it up and then I've used the Twisted Citron and the Crack pistachio for the birthday and wishes again the wishes is the crafty potential as is the birthday i was trying to figure out what to do with this one and then i just thought i don't want to cover up that background too much so i stamped the birthday wishes and then die cut them out with the oxides and i used the nouveau aqua shimmer midas touch on the wishes but 
I know better than to use that on oxides again. <laughs> that did not go very well. And then finally, I used the Screen Time from Lawn Fawn. The sentiment is You Leveled Up, It's Your Birthday from the Lawn Fawn set. And I've stamped all of these and I've been, again, colouring these at Bingo. One of these is for an order. Somebody ordered a gaming card. And I've coloured all of these with Copics. All different colours. <laughs> Whatever I happen to take with me. I have my 72 pouch and then I have another container full of markers because I can't choose colours. <laughs> so I like to have a variety with me. And I have fussy cut all these out, though I do have the dies. I had a brainwave that I'm just going to pop out these little bits and then leave the rest together. And that way, if I cut one out from a piece of paper and then I can just inlay everything back in to work out where to stamp it each time maybe instead of pulling all the dies apart and losing them and then I'll just have those couple of little ones that are out if it works we'll see when I get to that stage those are all my cards I hope you've enjoyed them this stamp is a six layer stamp set I didn't know that when I bought it and it took me a while to get used to I was in a bit of a rush so I didn't actually film the making of any of these because I need to get a lot of stuff made before I go away because we'll be gone for a month and a lot of stuff is going from the cottage so I need to replenish some stocks. I was supposed to make birthday cards, I was supposed to pull out my go press and foil, I had two days to make cards and I only ended up with one because it took me a whole day to book flights. <laughs> That's a whole other story. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to see more content like this and hit the bell notification to know when new videos come out. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. Couple of quick things I forgot. That is a Lawn Fawn background die. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. For these cards, I used the off the wall papers from Kaisercraft. I cut them down for this card and then used the leftovers on this card that nothing went to waste. Okay, bye! <laughs>